What's the difference between software design and software architecture? When I impact one become another. In this video, I explain more about those details. My name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel, the channel for you who wants to become a better software engineer, software architect, and so on. So if you want to learn more about Java, NoSQL database, software architecture, software design, this YouTube channel is for you. So subscribe. Every time that we discuss around software design and software architecture, it is hard, especially because every time that we read a new book, a new articles come out about those definitions, everybody looks like they have your own definition about those technologies. So you can see the new Ford books, some new books, and usually they have your own definition around those software design and software architecture. It is hard to define what's the right definitions about those technologies or the standard definition of those technologies. So I usually go more to the new Ford books because I enjoy more these books as reference around software architecture and software design. However, uh, please feel free to read those books and see by yourself and maybe create your own definition about those technologies. Naturally, those books are crucial for us as software engineers. And I really do recommend you to take a look on those books because those are amazing. I read those books and I enjoy a lot. But the point here is naturally you can see several meanings to those technologies. For example, uh, soft architecture is a collection of software design or soft architecture is a design that's hard to change or take time to change. Uh, those are important to understand that usually when we talk about soft architecture, I eventually will impact the soft design, okay? Uh, on my opinion at least, uh, the main difference between soft architecture and soft design, it is more around first. The soft architecture goes more around the strategic point of the soft development. You go more to the reason to the why and to the business self. For example, I want to use microservice. Does it make sense to my business? Yes or not? As you can see, it's more based on the context inside my organization. There is no right or wrong to use in microservice. There's no right or wrong to use monolith. There's no right or wrong to use even driven design. So I need to check if it does or if it applies to my business requirements, my timeline, my team knowledge, and so on. And on the other hand, when talk about design, mostly of the time, I'm talking more about the tactic part of software development. For example, I will be close to the code. If I do have multiple ifs, in this scenario, it does make sense to use the strategy pattern instead of having these multiple ifs. Another point, it's super clear to see uh, the right or wrong. It doesn't matter the context here, right? I mean, it doesn't matter the size of the organization. If I do have a code that is that has a huge amount of ifs, in that case, the majority of the time, you need to use some patterns to make the code more readable, right? Um, another point, if I do have an instance that is hard to create, it doesn't matter the size of your organization. Uh, for example, the database connection. On this case, it is okay to use singleton or centralize those creations in a pool of connections and so on. So uh, it's more clear to see the right or wrong inside the patterns where when talking about soft architecture, it is harder because most of the time we are talking more about the context inside the business itself. Um, another topic uh, and another point about the difference between those, it is, as I mentioned, that is a strict relationship between those. I usually will impact another. There is this amazing book, The Head First Soft Architecture by Neil Ford, that 
he mentions the soft architecture and soft design as a spectrum. So in one side, I do have soft architecture, and on the other side, I do have soft design, and eventually, I will impact another with my decisions. For example, if I decided to use microservice as soft architecture, naturally, I'm not able to roll back a transaction and other components. I need to use a Saga pattern here. And eventually, if I decide to use domain-driven design where I split my layers, I do need to impact my application in my soft architecture here as well because I need to define the layers. So as you can see, uh, my soft architecture will impact my code design as my code design will impact my uh, soft architecture. My recommendation naturally is starting with the right and the context and the business. So starting defining by soft architecture and then eventually go to the soft design. They're the same idea, for example, from domain driven design, where we do have both, right? So we do have the strategic domain driven design, the tactic domain driven design, and if you start using strategic, you're gonna have gonna have more success inside your code and your software development. So that is it for today. So the main difference between software architecture and soft design, soft architecture go more to the context goes more to the strategic point of software development, software design is more static, close to the code, and it is more about the static part of software development. If you want to learn more about those topics, right now I'm running a program called Ultimate Engineer, where the main goal is to apply the best practice of software engineer from open source to your career. That includes six steps to achieve that success uh, soft architecture soft design test documentation leadership and persistence or database if you want to learn more the link is on the description of this video where you can join me in some exclusive videos exclusive tutorial and naturally how to get in in this mentorship program and finally Please let me know your questions, your points, and your doubts. So, do you agree with the difference between soft architecture and soft design? Do we have different opinions about that? Naturally, there is a huge amount of books. It is impossible to make everybody happy with that. But please let me know. I want to learn from you, especially around your perspective around those terminologies. That is it for today, and see you around.